Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I want to show you the advancement of the tool settings uh, widget here. So the, the tools uh, start when you, uh, when you want to, when you launch a tool. So for instance, if you launch tool, then you can directly type in, you can still use it as it's uh, working uh, before, but uh, you can also use it uh, by typing the uh, the, the uh, parameters so let's say uh, you want a point at 10 10 it will create the point and most importantly it will create the constraints uh, of that point so um, uh, this has been implemented for many of those tools so for inst instance for a line you can put same here you can you have a fully constrained line uh, for the arc it's the same you can set up uh, you can also set the first point, for instance, if you don't want to use it. And then you can set the radius and then... Yeah, that should... Uh, you select the, um, the start point and end point because it's not supported by the tool. And then you have the um, radius which is still... Uh, radius constraint which is still applied. Uh, for the circle it's pretty similar, so you can have... A uh, like a circle here there you go you, it's a fully constrained circle and so yeah the main advantage is that it's much faster if you know where you want to implement your geometry and the uh, constraint that you want to apply th to it so uh, the same is you can also do it for three um, three point um, a circle so let's say zero zero ten ten and so yeah, the idea is that the, it uh, constrained the two first point, which is, uh, let's, let me see if I can make sense of it. Um, let's say zero, zero, ten, ten. Yeah, that's it. The second point is at uh, ten, ten. And so the third point, you can set it where you want. Uh, I think it's not as important. The main use is for a circle where you want to apply it on a um, precise point you see here. And then you, can, you, put, you put the diameter and it creates geometry directly. So that's it for... So it's also working for lips. So let's say you want at fifth, uh, 5, uh, 5. There you have the lips which appears. And then you can keep... You can either click or you can type in the uh, the second point. So you can say it's at uh, 10 and 10, for instance, and then this radius, which is like uh, this radius here. So um, for this spline, it's not activated. So you see it won't appear here. For um, the polyline, you can see uh, one thing is that I modified the icon because I think uh, with the previous icon, it was not clear for the user that uh, you can have several modes so that you can uh, make uh, arcs and perpendicular curves and so on. So for the polyline tool, let's let that first. For the polyline tool, it's working uh, the same way. So you can say set the first point, then you can set the second point as say 10, 10. And then from, from there, you can uh, begin to apply the mod. So because using the M key was not possible, because if you type in M, it will just write M here. So it's not, uh, it's not good. So the idea is that the shift key uh, is used to, um, to change the mod. Uh, but I heard maybe shift is not the correct shortcut, so maybe we need to find another shortcut. But uh, yeah, M or any key which gets type, typed in uh, the spin box, especially M because it's actually the metric, uh, like millimeter, meter. So the user might, if he just deletes the unit, he, he might need to write it again. So M is not possible, but yeah, we could use maybe another key and try to catch it at the spin box level. Um, but yeah, never mind. So for now it's shift. So, um, and you see, you can change the, the type of arcs and 
same as before you can select select where you want uh, the third point so let's say 50 and you see once i clicked 50 then the point is moving with my mouse at uh, x equal 50 so you see it's along that line even if i'm further along so and then you can choose you can type in y or you can just um, click it somewhere and so for this mode it's uh, quite the same so let's say we want to point uh, at 100 then uh, you see the um, the uh, this is constrained on x equal 100 and then you can put maybe zero and uh, and there we have a constraint problem what is it mm. Yeah, it's over constrained, right? Um, it's over constrained because ah, yeah, because of the tangent point, right? So yeah, there's maybe a, a few things like this which needs to be um, sorted out, but it's yeah, quite a specific use case on polyline. Um, uh, right, and then uh, what else do we have here? We have rectangle, we, so you want a box, 10, 10, maybe 50, and then uh, 20. You see you have the box, and then you can select on which side you want it. So if you want like this, or let's say like this, and you see it creates the box fully constrained. So it's like time saving. And you can also use it for a centered box, so zero, zero same maybe 50 100 there you have your box and uh, for let's say come come back here wait what's happening hey there you go um for the round rectangle it's uh, also working uh, properly then 10 you see here length we can put 100 length 50 width and then you same as the rectangle you need to choose where you want to apply it and then i also added the fact that the corner is requires a third click because you can also set it with uh, with the tool setting widgets so you can click it or you can type in the corner radius that you want so let's say we want 10 radius and you click enter and it creates fully constrained uh, rectangle um yeah so that's now come back here delete yeah um, for the polygon tool, uh, it's working basically as the circle for now, so you can just say where you want, want it, and then you select a radius, so let's say 50, and then you still have to, uh, to apply the angle that you want, so let's say you want, you want it here, like, with a tangent here, uh, um, no, a point on the object, well, and so you have also the the constrained object which is not fully constrained if you if you uh, actually uh, don't set um, the uh, if you just click anywhere then you don't have the the angle so you can still rotate mm, right and then you have uh, for the slot i did not um, already apply the tool because um, I currently have a branch on my GitHub for like more complex uh, slots and uh, arc slots. So I'm waiting that it's integrated before uh, running into more problem, uh, into conflicts. And uh, same for chamfer um, fillet. And the idea is that you will have the ability to type in the fillet and have the auto constraint created, the constraint created. So yeah, that's basically it. So. Um, I'm just about to, to make um, the pull request and there's yeah there's just the question of the the shortcut here right now I selected shift but let me know what you think yeah the icon is also in blue in construction mode so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching and let me know on the forum what what you what you think cheers <laughs>